Discover Ethiopia's Addis Ababa, the beautiful capital city of Africa. With a population of roughly 3,400,000 people, Addis Ababa is Ethiopia's capital and largest metropolis, as well as the world's third highest capital city at 2,355 meters. It is situated in the geographic center of the country, on a well-watered plateau surrounded by hills and mountains. The city was created in 1887 by Ethiopian Emperor Menelik around Hot Springs, and its Amharic nickname is New Flower. Addis Ababa has only been the Ethiopian state's capital since the late 19th century. In Toto, its immediate predecessor was located on a high tableland and was discovered to be unsuitable due to freezing and a severe lack of firewood. Emperor Menelik II's wife, Empress Tedu, urged the emperor to build a home near the hot springs at the foot of the tableland and to gift nobility members land in the area. The city was built in 1887, and the empress named it Addis Ababa, New Flower. The city was more like a military encampment than a municipality in its early years. The emperor's palace, which was encircled by the homes of his army and uncountable retainers, was the focal point. Please give us a thumbs up by hitting the like button, sharing, subscribing, and setting on your alerts so you don't miss any of our videos before we continue. From 1936 to 1941, Addis Ababa served as the capital of Italian East Africa. During this time, many roads were paved and modern stone houses were built, particularly in the districts of European residences. Other advances included the construction of a water reservoir at Jafarsa, in the west, and a hydroelectric station in Akaki, in the south. Between 1941 and 1960, Addis Ababa underwent very minor modifications, but progress has been significant since then. Ethiopia's educational and administrative capital is Addis Ababa. It is home to Addis Ababa University, which was founded in 1950, as well as several teacher training institutes and technical schools. The Museum of the Institute of Ethiopian Studies, run by the University, the National School of Music, the National Library and Archives, as well as the palaces of former emperors and government agencies, are all located in the city. The African Union and the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, both of which are headquartered in Africa Hall, are two of the most important international organizations with headquarters in the city. The city is a landscape of contrasts. Newly constructed skyscrapers stand beside dirt lanes, and international business conferences are held alongside traditional street markets. Addis Ababa is a vibrant mashup of culture, history, festivals, and a burgeoning art scene. The city's sheer business can be intimidating, yet a visit here lets you to see Ethiopia as it truly is. Make time to see the city's many restaurants, pubs, and stores, or immerse yourself in Ethiopian culture by visiting the many churches and distinctive architecture, and learning about Ethiopia's different cultural groups at the Ethnographic Museum. Before departing central Ethiopia, we propose a trip to the region's hot springs, exploring the Awash National Park's volcanic landscape and plentiful bird life, or horseback riding across the green plains spotting numerous species of antelope. Addis Ababa offers a diverse selection of fascinating activities, including cathedrals, markets, and fascinating museums. You'll also discover some of the best coffee in the world, as well as a tantalizing array of local and foreign eateries and food vendors. Textiles, shoes, food, beverages, wood goods, plastics, and chemical items are among the city's manufacturers. The city also houses the majority of Ethiopia's service industries. Addis Ababa is the hub of banking and insurance services, as well as the home of the country's major newspapers. On its journey to or from the ports of Djibouti, on the Gulf of Aden or Aseb, Eritrea, on the Red Sea, the majority of Ethiopia's export and import traffic passes through Addis Ababa. Much of the country's internal trade passes through the city, 
which serves as a collecting and distribution point. The Mercado, in the city's western outskirts, is one of Africa's largest open-air markets. In the central city, the Piazza, and in the southeast Bull Road, there are more expensive European-style shopping malls. It is also the center of the nation's transportation system. It is connected to other major cities by several roads, and the lone train runs to Djibouti. An international airport serves the city as well. Although there are few officially designated recreational sites, there are many open spaces that can be used for recreation. A small zoo is located in a park near the university, and a short drive to the south is the lake region, which offers boating, water skiing, bathing, and bird watching opportunities. Football is the most popular spectator sport. Soccer, basketball, volleyball, and other sports are also popular, with school teams dominating the scene. In 1994, the population was 2,112,737, and in 2006, it was 2,973,000. Some places to visit in this city are so incredible that you will also love to know about them. Mercado, Central Market in Addis Ababa Mercado is Africa's largest outdoor market. It's huge, and you can find anything there, including some beautiful artisanal, handcrafted items, a fantastic selection of spices, and some incredible deals. At the market, 90 Ethiopian tribes are represented, making the experience even more fascinating. In Toto Mountain Mount Toto provides breathtaking panoramic views of Addis Ababa's breathtaking surroundings. The elevation is 3,200 meters above sea level. It's ideal for hiking because of the eucalyptus tree forest. Two of the country's earliest churches are also located there, St. Regal, Elias, and St. Mary of Ntoto. Medhain Alem Medhain Alem is Addis Ababa's largest church and Africa's second largest cathedral. Its name means Savior of the World, and the structure is quite new. The white and yellow exterior has some lovely domes, and the vibrant interior has saint frescoes and stained glass windows. St. George's Cathedral and Museum The most famous venue of worship in Addis Ababa is St. George's Cathedral. It's perched atop a hill and known for its magnificent stained glass windows and royal throne. A museum packed with paintings of scenes from the Bible and Ethiopian history is located just a short walk away. The, the National Museum of Ethiopia, according to many visitors, is one of the top museums in the country and one of the best things to do in Addis Ababa. The museum houses thousands of objects and offers a diverse range of exhibits. The Axum statues, the model of Lucy, and the remains of very early humans are among the highlights. Mescal Square Mescal Square is the heart of the capital's social life. There are a few museums worth visiting, and there are regular events that are popular with both visitors and locals. The Red Terror Martyrs Memorial Museum is one of them, and it documents the brutal period of suffering in the 1970s. And there are a slew of others I haven't mentioned. This is a must-see destination, because it provides a lot to visitors and the general public. While we hope you enjoy our incredible video, we would appreciate it if you could leave a comment below to help us improve our channel. If you haven't already done so, Please share, subscribe, like, and turn on your notifications for new videos.